two. Okay, so this says it's rolling here. I'm gonna hope it's gonna keep rolling. And so we don't have to do the first tune because we got all that. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, Maybe just I think we got that. So the part we need is. from so that's where we stop and I have to figure that out for next time but the main thing is I think the really part of this that's going to make you able to play the song is this Make sure you get those practices on it and we talked about you know usually we put our little finger on a good violin bow grip somewhere down on the frog by the frog somewhere and now what we're going to do for this tune we're going to move our little finger up to at least you know maybe even at the very end of the tape so it's a much shorter grip and then that way when we turn this when we have to do the We could do them, we want to try to do them step with our wrist. Okay, like. Let me see if I can get my hand in here. Notice I'm not, I'm not dropping my whole, my whole elbow. That's the reason we use the shorter grip, so that when we switch and do those quick, uh, um, I call them plane changes, because the plane of the bow changes from this to this. But ordinarily, I would kind of do that with my elbow and, and just use the wrist to start it and the fingers to start it. But in a lot of Irish fiddler, fiddling, they actually don't even move the elbow. And they, they get all this with the wrist. And the reason they can do that is because they grip it shorter. Mm -hmm. All right, does that make sense? All right.